Who's Ryan? So who are you playing, Bo? Grood. Of? Not Grood. From Grood. From planet. planet Grood, and you're mostly plant? Yeah. What are some of your distinguishing, like, like numbers there under your characteristics? Uh, I mean, six driving, six looks, six cool. Oh my god, okay. So he is the beautiful, cool guy with the... With Who's a tree. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, he's not very human, not very near human, right? right. Yes, and he's, uh, um, let's see, what, you had the family minivan is what you got. You got, like, the cat one, and you've got Aunt Edna's car. What's another stereotypical vehicle? Um, okay, you have, um, you purchased a kick-ass saucer. Gorgeous. Well, no, it should be, but it barely runs. Because you couldn't afford to actually get a really nice saucer. So it looks good, but when it drives, it's like. <laughs> Does it sound worse than mine? It's worse than yours. Oh, so boy. Like, you have smoke coming out the back. Flames are sometimes coming off of his, and he has to stop and put them out <laughs> as he's driving. Well, I can handle it. And he's a tree. <laughs> he's a, he's tree. a tree. So it's even more terrifying. Uh, okay, uh, roll both dice, two six sided dice, and multiply by two. Uh, boom. The world six side over here, Cam. Oh, yeah. Roll those and multiply by two. Okay, so well. six is 12. That's your that's your weekly allowance. <laughs> uh, roll another six sided die and multiply it by that 12. 24. So, 24. So, you have right now $24. That's how much cash you got right there. Uh, yeah. If you wish to buy things. Space time. Yeah, space bucks. Uh, here's like a proof you can make on the car, but that's probably out of your price range. And then down here is, is stuff you can buy. So go ahead and look down this list. It runs through this page and see if there's just anything you want your guy to have besides uh, you have a cell phone. You don't have to pay for that. You have a cell phone. And um, look down that list very quickly, and then we will get you involved. I'm going to deal with you guys real quick. Um, midnight, are you guys going home? You're at home, is it? Uh, but you've been out and about somewhere. Your parents have probably figured that out. What's the plan? What are you guys doing? I'm just asking to TP me into my room. Oh! You've been there. So. Okay, you blip into your room. Um, yeah, do me a cool roll. Cool. This is probably something you've tried before. So... Can you get away with it? All right, I got a number. What, what'd you get? Six. Six? Okay, you got it. Maybe six. That's what I was thinking. So you pop in the room. He quick TP's out. Where are you going? Um, I'm assuming I parked my car at my house already. No, no. Uh, you guys came. Oh wait, you still had stuff in your car to drop off in the garage. Okay, so yeah, I just teleport everything out of my car. Okay. Into the garage and then drive home. And then drive home. Okay, John, what do you plan on doing? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, rock it back to my place and uh, <laughs> okay. try to get it in nice and quietly, right. so I don't uh, disturb my car. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do me, do me a pod. Uh, seven. Okay, uh, yes, your dad's still up. He's like, we're, we're glad that you're out hanging out with friends, but just give us a call for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that literally happened to me, so. Okay, you on? He's patting on the bag, he's all happy. The news is on. You see amazing stuff happening at the crisp because it's it's, uh, it's a TMZ thing. No, that wouldn't be local. <laughs> yeah, that it's a local that. channel. It's like crazy stuff happening at the Krispy Kreme after a horde of raccoons tried to break in. Police uh, spotted this, and you see an angle. It looks like it's from the nerds in the back. It looks like it's a cell phone camera, and they're like, and it, it looks like one guy's like, okay, and the robot guy's like, okay. So I I decided not to fight the zombies. It looks like they're doing like a vlog thing, okay. And all of a sudden you see um, off to the side, like a car goes tearing down Brain Boulevard. And um, this guy watches him, watches the car, and you see the couple of cops, but they've just started to go to, out to their car. And he's like, oh, cool. And you see them get in the car, and he goes, <laughs> and just crashes down onto the, onto the pavement. And they're like, what the hell just happened? Apparently, uh, some kind of raccoons or something stole the new premise of it from a police car on Bragg Boulevard tonight. Possibly earlier, in the background, you see a tractor trailer driving out. There's just black smoke coming out of the stacks over on top of it. And then it heads up Bragg Boulevard after the others. 
Um, your dad just changed his head. Ah, these raccoons nowadays. <laughs> uh, you're driving home. Um, make me a, a bot. Let me see how well you sneak. If you have any sneaky stuff, that would help. Can you beat a seven? I got a seven. Seven is a success. So you sneak into the house without your dad finding out. Then mom. Um, Bo, did you buy anything? Go in through the loop. A bot regenerator. A bot regenerator? Yeah, you can buy one. How much is it? Ten. Ten? Wait, the regenerator, like, helps? Yes. I have one. But you can have one, too. Oh, yeah. You're brood? Yeah. See, you're just messing up here when you're rolling. Tree man. You rolled. I mean, amazingly well. Okay. The one time that he won't need it for more than... That's why I can roll well. That's okay. Uh, Groot, you live in a little uh, in a neighborhood, a suburb of Fayetteville. You go to Pine Forest Senior High School. Um, you, uh, it's Sunday, uh, and you love cars. Obviously, you're a very good driver, right? saucers. Uh, and you're from the planet Groot. Your parents came to North Carolina a few years ago because the jobs were better and the schools were better. From the planet Groot, which doesn't have any jobs, it's just a bunch of plants living on the world. It's just plants. It's just plants. That's all it is. So your parents became sentient and moved on. <laughs> yeah, he only rolled two nothings. He rolled two ones for his. So, so you only have like one power? So he is a plant that breathes fire. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is terribly dangerous. Um, what are you doing on Sunday? Throw me out what your guy would be doing on a Sunday. On a typical Sunday. Grilling. Grilling out, okay. Because the Garud people love meat. <laughs> It's all about, that's why they came to Earth, the meat here. There's yeah, so, so much meat. We descended from Venus flytraps. Okay, so you look like a giant Venus flytrap? No. You look like a tree. Okay, you look kind of like Groot. Do you have flytrap hands? Are they made? Mm. The meat's delicious here. We'll go back to that. Um, so you, um, you're grilling out, and um, you hear like the roar of a saucer engine. Mm -hmm. You guys have been working today on fixing up saucer, the mark, the mark, the mark six, uh, and it's like a, a, it's like a, it's like an, an amazing sound. Uh, you've never heard an engine like that before, and you realize it's coming from one of the neighborhood houses, but you're not down the street. Uh, you three came back Sunday morning, and basically. Oh, Missa, I would love to taste that strawberry stuff that Bo got you. Oh. I have a, there's glasses up there. I okay. can take a little swig. I just want to taste. I don't want very much. But it looks interesting. I bet I'm going to hate it. Um, so you hear that uh, right after the, your dad was finished grilling breakfast. And he says, well, we're going to really much soon, son. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do a lot of grilling. <laughs> Every day. Well, you don't get along with your parents, though, do you? you got to want to so don't be late. I'll leave him alone, Henry. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys have been working this morning on putting parts on and getting it set up. And what, what are you going to cannibalize for parts? For the uh, windshield, the interior, and the We're using the my car. Just your car? Okay. Yeah. And then you guys can do that. Um, oh, the interior's going to be awful. Can it's my... Yeah, it is. Uh, can my race also be able to uh, sustain in space? What, like, what? Can I drive in space without my no, windshield? No, okay. no, you still have to have the windshield. Okay. So you're, you're, and what will have to be done is you're actually cutting out the windshield for the bubble, because you have a bubble. Um, it would actually be better to cannibalize the windshield from his car. Yeah, because you just take From it. his saucer would actually fit yeah. better than, than trying to mess with yours. Just mine's a bubble. Yours is just a bubble. <laughs> He's got a freaking Jetsons car. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, what kind of car, what kind of saucer group? Has, uh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, that kick ass looking Lamborghini, or it looks like a Ferrari that flies, but it doesn't run for shit. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Ooh, this is probably more than I need. Uh -oh. oh, thanks. Oh, well, thank you. No. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Ew. Do you want it? Even though yeah. I drank it? Yeah. Yeah? It's not sweet enough for me. You just it's said not it was sweet enough? You just said that it had to be, that it was too sweet. Yeah, I thought you no, didn't like it. No, the apple I didn't like because it was too sweet. This yeah, actually, I remember, it reminds me know. of the, uh... It's like Zemo with some strawberry flavor. It reminds me of the, uh, Avida that, um, we tried when, uh, we were in New Orleans, uh, back, uh, the summer before this last one. Um, when we were in town for my cousin's wedding. Um, it, 
is like a seasonal one. Uh, do they make fresh? No, not for me. I, mean, I love a Vita, but I haven't tried the. I haven't tried the fresh. It sounds pretty legit. Yeah. Okay, so what are you doing, though? You hear this uh, amazing engine noise. I guess I want to go check that out, yeah? Okay. It appears concerned. to be coming from the uh, cat nearby a house that the alien race from... Damn it. What's Persephone. it called? Per Persephone. Yeah, Persephone. Eight. X. Persephone eight? What? X. Persephone, Persephone X. Persephone X. They live in there. So, um... From outer space, basically. Yeah, and in the garage... Actually, you guys have pulled it out wow. onto the, the driveway. I was going to get you one. Oh, thank you. You pulled it out on the drive to give more room to sure. work. And there is a freaking, uh, it's, it looks like a black Lamborghini saucer. Um, Lambo saucer. And you've heard of this. You're a big fan. Okay. You're a really good driver. Oh, it's pretty um, good. You've heard of this. Uh, it's the Mach 6, which, was, which won the Galaxy 5000 three years ago. Ooh. And which is a race on Mars to tell every year. It's actually going to be next Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday! <laughs> for, uh, for aliens, Wednesday's a bigger day than Sunday. Um, okay. It's our favorite day. Indeed. And it's a free day. Your nerds, too. Go up. Your nerds like too. Right? Yeah, that, oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, this that's the Mach 6. You're like, wait, what? You knew a cat drove it, but you didn't think it was this this guy who lived down the street. Then what's your cool? What do you think? Four. A four. This this kind of cool. And I'm guy incredibly charming. From down the street. Yeah. So that could, does that charming. go with cool? Uh, yeah, that would go with cool. Incredibly charming. Or looks, depending on what you're trying to get. I am. Um, <laughs> you've never seen this car before, cool or the saucer one. before. It's like, oh, and it's like painted jet black, so black that it like sucks mm -hmm. in the light, and it looks like they're doing some body work to it as well. You guys haven't put the bumpers on yet, but you put a lot of the other parts on, and you're getting it going. Are we there? Up very nice. Yes, I'm assuming all three of you okay. got together. Yeah. Um, you had him bring the mini saucer over. You brought your saucer over so that you guys can cannibalize the parts. Chicks won't be able to help but just get pulled to this thing. <laughs> and we we'll spot one of the other kids from here, another senior, Grood from Grood, uh, standing out there by the, by the. And he looks pretty cool. There's no sidewalks. It's just like. The, the street, and he's kind of looking looking your way. Oh, by the way, Bo, I have a five in cool, and I've got a two in too cool for school. So basically, you're going to have trouble outgoing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't juggle. know. Groot is pretty freaking cool. I can Groot juggle. Is. You can juggle. If that doesn't go to cool, I don't know what it goes to. <laughs> it actually I think that's the opposite cool. of cool. Right? Can you stand <laughs> over there like a creeper, you want to come look Come join us. That's the that's the per, what the heck? Per seven. Are, are you easily identifiable as a male? Are you easily identifiable as a life as a life form? Yes. <laughs> as a life form, he's, yeah, he walks, he talks. I don't know how, but yeah, you can tell. Him oh, by the way, I wear a jean jacket with a pop collar as a mantis, and I've got sunglasses on that don't really even cover my giant eyes. Basically, I'm like 25% Tarzier, 75% cat. Basically, I look like a vampire. All right. With long hair. Douglas the vampire. I'm so There's ugly, a super rough drawing. <laughs> I'm, I've got a one in looks, but like, I don't care, so I'm going <laughs> that way. I'm like, because my I've got like cat lit or cow lips everywhere. But she pulls or he pulls them off. These giant ass eyes that I'm too proud of. <laughs> I like them. I think it's cool. Are her eyes bigger than mine? Who's is, who? Or is, is his eyes bigger than mine? Um, well, I mean, in comparison to bodies. Bodies, yes. Yes, yeah, but I don't know that I could possibly be bigger than him because you're six foot tall. That's right. How tall are you again? Two. Like, if, if I stand up on my legs, probably like <laughs> two and a half feet, maybe? Nice. I mean, I'm only Okay, so what are you guys doing? Staring at this guy. She said just, something. Just Googling the car. Huh, did that shrub just move? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking tree. Does he talk? Ah, does Rude talk? 
You have to talk to be cool. Yeah, well, he's not talking. So, so that's that's sometimes that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> he's being a creeper. Well, I'm not being a creeper because it's too cool. So you can tell him so that being cool. Are you just sitting there like this? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> just like posing. Flowers flowing. <laughs> well, anyways. Uh, so we just got to train you up to race on Wednesday, I guess. Yeah, he'll start juggling. You're juggling? I already addressed you. <laughs> Yeah, we stared at you for a little bit, but then we just went back to I our mean, conversation. I talked to him and he didn't respond. Well, so. yeah, in reaction, he's like just like staring at Juggle and you're like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, this it's J Dwayne's. What the hell? It's how we do it where I come from. It's how we do. Juggling is our form of training. Okay. You ever hear them talking about training him to drive this amazing vehicle that they're working on? So, what are you guys doing? Well, I'm uh, playing the music loud while uh, pretending that I'm driving it. I'm making little uh, driving sounds. <laughs> so are we still just putting it together? You guys continue to work on it, on the car. I'm going to talk what? to a nearby tree because it's one of the trees. You can talk to the trees. Well, it doesn't say I can trees. talk to trees. <laughs> so I do talk to trees. Okay. <laughs> So what are you saying? Is it like in English? I guess just tree noises. Okay. Like waving? Shh. Or is it like, uh, is it like uh, a hint? You just have to wait for a couple hours while it speaks. That's in a video. By the way, um, I did want to have like the vocal transplant thing. Since, so the, I yeah, the sound box like and the ear. Yeah, yeah, box and ear thing. Ear thing. Because I don't have ears. Okay. Are you standing in the street or in their yard? I thought he was across the street. Yeah, I was about like a... Across the street? Okay. Yeah. That's why I said he was being a creeper. Across the street, I'd be like, hey, I'm a pretty good driver or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a pretty good driver. Okay, or that's something. what you said. Or something. I don't, so your guy really says that? Sure. He's really humble, so he can't be like aggressive about it. Um, no, I'm a, I'm a pretty good driver. And you all know each other from school, you might not know each other well. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a backup driver. Actually, yeah, you're the guy that drives that really nice looking car that doesn't <laughs> run very well. You mean that one right over there that we can see right now? Oh, yeah, it is. No, it's down the street, though. Oh. He lives down the street. Oh. And you, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it from there. Yeah, he wa you walked over, didn't you, Bo? You walked over sure. to see where the noise was? Yeah, so you see it down the street. It's parked on the road, on the street. It's also black, right? Didn't you say? Okay. Ah, uh, you're a pretty good driver. I bet you're a pretty good driver in another dimension. Oh, is that an insult here? I I think he got you. I I don't really even know. Let's go make eye contact. With this you. guy's just a nerd. You haven't said that in a while. Yo, I have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's the Rival Brothers again. They get out. There's four guys. They all look identical. They are adults. Oh, they're adults? Yeah, yeah. They're short, balding, rude, and they each are smoking huge cigars. Do they look like uh, Danny DeVito? Yes, they do. Oh, my <laughs> God, yes. <laughs> they, they're all Danny DeVito. Uh, no, what are their names? You know, the guys from uh, Through the Walking Glass. Yeah. Kind of. Because that's what I'm kind of picturing. They walk up the driveway towards this car. So you ready to sell yet? So which one, one of them, you? like, kicks it a little bit? Oh, look. Dumb, dumb, very dumber, 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 dumber. Hey, dumber, it's Max, dumber, Betamax, dumber. Datamax, and Tutamax. Dumamax? That's you, jackass. Shut your mouth. I'm not talking to you. I don't talk to bugs. Which one of you nerds ran me over the other day? Just, like... <laughs> Also, Tuna Max is like, oh. Also, when, when they're not paying attention, I'm just like shooting my duplicator at them. <laughs> they're watching you right now. I'm, I'm just saying when they don't. Directly to you. I just thought it would be funny. You can, you can. <laughs> oh god, which one is you? If you do it to them now, they'll see it. Yeah, that's why yeah. I said when. Okay. 
willing to up the price to four thousand dollars. Well, I'll tell you what, man, y'all are great at counting. Look, I said a hundred thousand. If not, then you can go home. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to ask you to leave my property unless you have some some other business here, which I know you don't. Say, guys, how about I try my best to do this. <laughs> Scrape, scrape, scrape. <laughs> <laughs> when we win the race on Wednesday, then you can buy it. Race? Oh, yeah. Uh, Shh. Y'all have. <laughs> oh, 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 you're going to join the Galaxy 5000, huh? Oh, please. Like, We're we going to could... take it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed it. What? <laughs> she said, oh, please, we couldn't. And then she said, We're going to take it. This, I don't know. This kid thinks he's, he's a fool. <laughs> like, kids these days, huh? He's from one of those vampire planets out on the rim, ain't he? I'll have you know that my family can trace their history back 5,000 years on Caravian 6. I hear Caravian 6 are turnip suckers. That's what I hear, too. What is Don't think you're going to be able to beat us at the Galaxy 5000. We're racing, too. My uncle's a turnip. Don't insult turnips. Who's that guy? I don't know. I haven't seen him before. <laughs> I haven't seen the vampire, either. Let's <laughs> raise his hands up. Like. <laughs> Alright, unless you gentlemen... We don't want no trouble. Alright, then you should probably leave the premises. I don't think we have anything to talk about, and you haven't made me feel really good about you, so... Uh, yeah, so why don't you make like trees and get I want. I want to walk out. No offense, no offense. <laughs> What's your stance on turnips? <laughs> I want to walk past them towards Wait. their car. <laughs> it might, it's not the same saucer. They've all been, they've been, every time you've seen them, it's been a different kind of saucer slightly. Like they're using a bunch of different cars from yeah. their business probably. I'm going to give it the best key job ever. That's <laughs> so what one of them does. Gives you like this. <laughs> like well, actually, he's more like this. Because you're a cat. And then, oh, you're keying his <laughs> car. Keying it with my arm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> one of them runs towards you. You stupid kid. No, I do the, the little tongue thing. He just... punches you in the face. What? <laughs> what? So they're surprised. all watching him, right? Yeah. They um, said I'm gonna duplicate their. Well, car. no, I was trying to like you stick my tongue out and they teleport. Whatever. Oh, you teleport? Yeah. Stick your tongue out and teleport. Give me a bod. Body? Yeah. What do you say? These guys are pretty tough. Tell me if you get a nine or better. Uh, bod. I get a seven. Okay. He punches you in the face uh, for a point of bonk. Did it? Did it? Did it mess up my glasses? Oh, uh, do me a love check. Drop the die somewhere. Oops. I heard the die hit the ground. What does it look like? It's a there? black die. Oh, it's right by uh, those. That's a popcorn. I rolled an eight. Popcorn? By your foot. By your foot. Oh, oh this is a die. Oh. You rolled an eight? Yeah, yeah. No, it didn't mess your glasses up. Um, it knocks them off your head. They, they, go, they <laughs> hit the pavement. You wouldn't have to go on glasses, but... Well, I sunglasses. But, uh... See it? Go get it. She's heading right for it. Yay! Does, does it look like I could... Does it look like I care? There's four of them, and now there's suddenly two of their car. No, up to 200 pounds. All right. Remember? So I do it duplicate the him. Her. You can do one of him. Oh. Now there's two of you. Two or as many as I roll? Just two? Uh, do you want to do a bunch? Well, I just did a roll. It depends. It's entirely up to you. If you want to just do one or do Yeah, one. do multiple. How many? Two. So there's three two altogether. Two Okay. Boom, <laughs> boom. Yeah, this guy pace, just knocked off our glasses. <laughs> Let's get him! <laughs> that's what he says, right? Yeah, that's one of they both say that. They both say that to you. Well, Let's get him! <laughs> yeah, and these guys look like they're ready to fight it out with you if you want. It looks like there's going to be a brawl in your front yard. Nice. Mm. Okay, we'll start with Bo. What do you want to do, Bo? <laughs> it looks like a fight is breaking out between three of this guy <laughs> and his four quadruplets. So, it's kind of weird. So... <laughs> Because I, I find this whole thing funny, I'm gonna turn myself into. Oh wait, no, wait, we're gonna, it, yeah, we're gonna go around it, the table okay. this way, just for simplicity's sake, and I'm last. Go oh, quick. What do you wanna do? I guess I'll brush the flowers out of my face and step forward, ready to help. Okay. <laughs> so you're ready. Oh, not throwing a punch yet. What are you doing with your three guys? Are they attacking? Um, are you gonna try to punch these guys? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they all try to probably knock him. And like I'm, since I'm a little smarter, I guess I'm gonna try to knock him into his car to mess up the car more. <laughs> Okay, you're all attacking the same guy? Yeah. Alright, uh, what's your bod? 
My bot is four. So four with super so strength. Super strength. A five and a five. And that's with super strength? Hmm? Four. Then you have super strength. I have four okay. and super strength. So five and a five against their bot. Seven and a ten. Okay, so those two, two of them, your duplicates are kind of like just exchanging blows. Nothing's really going on. And yours is what? <laughs> I got a nine. I got a ten. Okay, so you punch him. Yeah. Um, where's his bump? Okay, so he's got three. Um, Did he just bonk out? <laughs> Have they told you he got bonked the fuck. You punch him, yeah, you punch this guy and you're fighting him. Have they been telling you it's like a Um, John, what are you doing? I guess, no. I have no okay. idea. I'm just sitting there at the you side. Just watching the fight? Okay. What are you doing? I guess it's more of an extend of the claw so I don't, like, um, kill people. Okay. I, uh. Because otherwise, you know, it's I a razor. I go towards oh. joining them and I turn them in myself into a mini one of him. His of me? A small me? They have to be animals. Yeah, they are. It is an animal. Praying mantis. Oh, into a little praying mantis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh, then, right. and then I'll duplicate myself. Because it doesn't look like him. It looks like a little, uh, big praying mantis. Yeah. And then you're going to start duplicating yourself. Doof, yeah. doof, 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 doof. Okay. <laughs> praying mantis um, is everywhere. One more of me. Let's see. Do me a bod for your first duplicate. And tell me if you beat a seven. And then you need to beat an 11 and an 11. So I got a 7 for the first one. Okay, so you're fighting to a standstill. What about the second one? This will be you. you this is me? 11. Uh, so I also seven. got a 7. But okay, so you take another point off your... Another this bomb. was before the carapace, the, the heavy car, car, yeah. carapace. The heavy carapace, yeah. Yeah, which is how much more? Uh, a couple more? So that still is a fail because yeah. they got 11. So and then the other, the other guy got a 9. 9 sets 11, so only you took real damage. You yeah. took another point of bomb. Um, what so I'm at zero. Does that mean I'm out? You're at zero. Um, I th don't I have to be at negative. Yeah, you have to be at negative. Okay. So once you get negative numbers, that's when you be stunned. Bo, what you doing? I'm heading towards you with my regenerator because you are squishy. Which one made the turn up? Uh, I mean, you're not sure. They're all kind of mixed up now, and they all look just exactly alike. <laughs> One's as good as another. Fair enough. I'll go for the closest one. Okay. So roll me a bod. Roll a d6 and add to your bod. And he's defending with a nine. Does it count if it's tilted? No, reroll that. Yes. Keep it off the yeah, keep it off the Jeez. There you go. Good. Oh. Eleven. Eleven to his nine, okay. <laughs> Bam! Uh you hit one of them in the face. Uh he's like, ah, his cigar is like all flattened out by it. Um Yeah, tree beard. <laughs> <Me? laughs> Somebody's been reading the uh, Lord of the Rings. Okay, well. Oh. I call them other things. Can it's I try to throw him? Yeah, you can pick him up. Where you throw him? Into his saucer? Yeah, throw him into one of his friends. Okay, yeah. <laughs> or one of his brothers, I guess. Make a roll. Ooh, I rolled awful. Bod check? Yeah. Uh, six plus super strength. Okay, you pick him up and you throw him into one of the secondary guys. Um, super strength. Ah, there's a lot of screaming and yelling going on. John, you still just watching? No, I'm going to go ahead and uh, join in the uh, fight. The okay. beat down. You just okay. run people over in the car. <laughs> no, I, uh, I transform into a. Uh, what do you I, guys think photocoping is? That's a good what? question. Photocoping? Uh, photocoping is a lot of photocopying. I try to some errors. So. Go ahead, John. What now? I transform into a. Uh, into say a small bear or a small to medium sized bear. Okay. Um, I had a bad experience with a bear recently. Oh, I got knocked out by a bear. <laughs> okay. So you, a bear, that grizzly bear's back. Okay, and what are you doing with Oh, that? God, PTSD. I'm going to kind of uh, rush at one of the uh, one of them brothers. Okay. you going to hit him? you going to attack him? Yeah, but, well, I'm not going to give him a bit. I'm going to just kind of go with my arm and steps with the claws so I don't I kill Paul and kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd be the cutest bottom, bear. <laughs> bear. bear. I'd be like a little living teddy bear. Uh, like this? <laughs> You got an eight. No, I would still eight, be two and a half feet. But I could use I my can go, go two rounds in the heavy gun. Uh, I you all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Because you can use the brawler. Okay, so that's an 11. So, yeah, you smack him upside the head. He's like, oh my god, there's a bear! Uh, what are you doing? A bear has just appeared. Uh, well, I know he's check. in a Yeah, I know he's... That's the easiest way to see if you noticed him actually change or if this bear came out of nowhere. I mean, uh, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. I mean, I, I know he's in a... Oh, yeah. uh, what? You a see brains chat. You mean smart? Yeah, smart. Oh, oh, the alien. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. I got I'm an eight. I didn't touch her. <laughs> Pretty rare as a bear legless. Like, you're okay, sweetie. 
Or, wait, okay, no, so I wanted to what'd say something else. I wanted to it's tell good. you. It's good. Um, what's your Lavender. brains? What's your brain? Smarts is Smarts, three. Sorry. I gave you a three. Okay. Yeah. One of your guys is like, ah, it's three bad, and he runs away. Um, so you're down to two, just you and one dude look at. Um, oh, wait, I wasn't, I hadn't done anything. Oh, no, you yeah. have. What do you uh, mean? I was going to go regenerate them with my... Can they not teleport? Okay. My regenerator uh, thingy. They didn't think of it. He freaked out. Okay. Oh. Who did? Oh, they, yeah. One of the duplicates saw the bear and ran. Um, oh. One of the guys tries to hit you for a nine. Roll uh, your bottom. Well, when I... When I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, get I two points him. back for your, so for your bonks. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so take the point of bonk off. Um, back to one. <laughs> I'm just standing next to you. I can just, like, reach over. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I can just fight better, please. You, have, you didn't get change it to a monkey. Yet. Just hold on your arm. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so hit one. You have one. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna turn and try to hit you. So roll me your bod. Uh, add yeah, roll that roll that add it to your bod. Eight. He got an eight too. So uh, you defend against it. Uh, John, your bear. Oh wait. Uh, let me do this guy. Mind check. Also, I'm a miniature of you. Smart. So <laughs> um, that's enough that yeah yeah he's gonna try to stay and fight you John. Okay. Um so seven versus your bot. Okay. Uh six uh do I use my hit thing? Yes, you're you're in a fight. You use your hit thing. So okay. it's a, what's the total? Eight. Uh oh wait. Uh, actually my level is one I guess. So <laughs> I guess uh, like the so the, seven. Um, seven. What the hell is it really called in real life? The, uh, the oh, the yeah, octagon. Yeah, yeah. So he's wanting the hot heavy gun. So you got a what total? Uh, seven, I guess. Okay. Um, listen, you're not really in, in the fight yet. You're helping heal him. Um, there's two on the ground. Well, I already they're trying to get him. up. Right, right. right. Do her parents come out? Um, no. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, do me a luck check. Wait, before you do it, decide. Is it good if they come out for you, or is it bad? If they come out for you? Well, we're kicking their ass, right? Uh, you guys are doing pretty well. Nobody's down in either side. I mean, side. we are minor. It's no, well. What do you think? What do you think? What does everybody think? We could we could do this as a vote. What's the question? She doesn't get a well, long vote with her parents, his parents. I mean, if the parents show up at this point, they're not going. Like is that good or bad for her? Well, my dad's really emotional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. I don't know anything about my mom. I just know my dad's. Well, mom makes really good cookies. Right? Oh, that's yeah. I mean, but I like I mean, one way or another, it's gonna be bad if she doesn't get along. Right, so if she makes a luck check, would that be a good thing or a bad thing? For them to show up, if it's a good thing, that means Dad will come out and be like, you get off my lawn, you leave my kids alone. Uh, a bad a bad thing would be if uh, he'll come out and be like, why are you picking fights with strangers? But yeah, we're at home, we're not out looking for a fight, so. True, make a luck check. If it's if it's if if you make a luck check, or if you make a uh, hind up on your luck, then it's a good thing. We'll just go there. He'll come out with a... <laughs> Get off my lawn! Oh, good, yeah, I can give him that. What's six. your roll? A six total? Out of, six no, no, sorry. Die. Yeah, add Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> so he comes yeah, out okay. with a cat gun. I don't know. A <laughs> cat gun, it's a catapult. <laughs> it shoots uh, cats. <laughs> no, uh, it, it shoots explosive hair balls. Oh, oh nice. god, that's awesome. Um, it's an intimidating looking weapon with lightning <laughs> coming off. <and> it's <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Like, I've already called the police. You better get out of here. <laughs> my son is my ruined. Okay. Wait, who says that? that my dad. Dad. The um, the rival brothers see this, um, and they start scampering towards their flying saucer. Uh, what do you get? What do you want to do as they're running away? Anything? Ooh, wait. What was that thought? This. Some 